What the hell? Good morning, guys. The critic is in the. So this morning we're discussing, left and aside all the politics and everything. I think you know a friend woke woke me up early this morning, and <laughs> them banner this got real bread, right? A, a fellow who has become a friend woke me up this morning. And them people is comfortable. And every man talking, the man talking about business. Critic, what you think about this and this and that? So I'm like... <laughs> right away thinking, right? I got to tell poor people what make the poor. I got to explain to them because imagine a man with the world of money wake up, critic, critic. I got this idea, like, yeah. <laughs> Why you believe this guy money? You better start dreaming about it. Yes, yeah, sir. And those women he was discussing, I said, bye. I got to do more in educating Guyanese that the possibilities of what can happen are endless. Now everybody can make it. But there are a lot of people out there who want to do something. And what do they do? They procrastinate. You understand? They have fear take them over. It's confusion in their life. I am like, whoa. This is no joke. Let me tell you what time the call come in this morning. Hmm. All right, let me put it this way for you. Last night, me and the man talk, 10.55. Well, he, no, he call on the program. He call on the program. So, that can't count. My first, my second call this morning. Six minutes after six o'clock this morning, a man called me. <laughs> and will you believe he said, he's a critic. We got to do this. What do you think about this idea? Yeah, brother, talk to me. Investment and entrepreneurship in Guyana. No bullshit this morning. Talk to me. Yeah, um, listen, we got a, a pensioner. She's not getting water in the enterprise for like for two days. The pipe outside of the street is broken. And they called Guyana. Guy was telling them that they don't have no emergency. Unit Does she have any family members that can send the fax to me on WhatsApp? Maybe a photograph of what's going on? Her name, address, and these things that I could send it to Guyana. I have all this information if you want it. Send that to me. Well, obviously, I got to get information before I could, I could do anything. All right, good. Roger that. Good. When am I going to catch up with you? Um, yeah. Call me during the day. Come up at the office or something, man. Where you have it? Luzik, now. The opposite car. Come out to sale. All right, good. Safe. All right. Yeah. So, the guy calls this morning. And the first thing coming to my mind, I wonder what is on most Guyanese mind when they wake up this morning. Six minutes after six o'clock, this partner calls. And while I'm talking to him, I know what he's talking about. I'm in my element. I like me, I eat, sleep, drink, piss and shit, Guyanese critic. Yeah, I said. I just dream I roll inside the camera. I dream what he's do. <laughs> Real. I don't know what you're thinking about. Some people think about gal. Yes, sir. Some people think about car. Some people think about Lamborghini. No. I eat, sleep, piss and shit. Guyanese critic. It don't come realer than that. So I want to know what you doing in your life for develop yourself. What entrepreneurship means for Guyanese. Y'all understand what it is about? What investment and development means for Guyanese? Do you know why it's likely to have somebody from Europe or America or Canada or a Guyanese who went to Europe, America or Canada to come back to invest in Guyana? 
Because in developed countries, you know, the possibilities are endless. You understand? All you gotta know is anything you could think of, you could do. You gotta get at least half of a brain to operate with. You can't be like the opposition leader. Yeah, so you gotta get half of a brain at least. Just half. Here why? Your brain got two halves. Right? And the left half operates the right side of the body. And the right half controls the left side of the body. So if you get half, you could walk with a stroke, so. Yes, sir. You could move, you could pull one side, so. You could sign with his hand. But if you're like, if you're like, well, if you can't even say Harmon, hey, we make a laugh that Harmon ain't got the brain. Harmon set up himself right there to set a property and that kind of thing. Harmon might even got a bigger brain than me. <laughs> I think. Jadio pay Harmon as a guard above me. When I see what Harmon doing to the PNC, Harmon refused to go meet the. You think you disrespect the Canadian or going Canadian the ambassador and the one coming in to take you with open arms? What kind of what kind of strategy is that? If somebody come and tell me. Yes, sir. Not even Jaggy could tell me that he didn't pay Harmon for destroy the PNC. Harmon's whole sole purpose as a position leader seems to be to destroy the PNC. I ain't seen no other explanation for what he's doing. Yes, sir. I just said the man ain't got no brain, but the man must have got a bigger brain than me. I is a punk and I need to Harmon. Because all I try to do is develop this country. All he try to do is destroy the PNC. Simple thing. And that's a hard task. I have get them out of government, but for destroy them, that's harm and work. And I'm telling you, yeah, that banner had to pay anybody for the law. I can't ask, why are you doing it? Why would you want to destroy the PNC? Why would you want to destroy a viable opposition where you could restructure and make it work? All the man doing is going to pick fight with all the people in the diplomatic community. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, that's how they do it. Got people getting a bitter taste in the mouth for the PNC. You don't try to rig the election. You don't get catch. Shit that put your hand, your face, even your, your breath smelling of shit. Yes, yeah, sir. And you ain't done it. <laughs> the man in there tasting the shit. Like, mm, no, it's ice cream. No, it's not shit. It's, it's chocolate. Right? So if Jesus come back and tell me that Harmony Tech pay for destroy the PNC, I tell him he lie and he there with him. Because it's a big conspiracy. Let me tell you, it's only the PNC didn't tell you. It's only the PNC people let me tell her, hey, yet. they may blame Jesus yet. But anytime Jesus step in foot for some I'll show you Alice of Peace, he will get blamed. <laughs> You believe the PNC, you see? The PNC blame the Americans, the Russians, the um, the Canadians, the, the British. Anybody who talk, the Barbadians, Gonzales, Trinidadians, the Jamaicans, they blame a man, the man go to the grave thinking he do something wrong. Poor man never ain't do nothing wrong to Guyanese. Only stand up for democracy. Owen Arthur, Uncle Owen. Listen to me. The PNC sent Uncle Owen to grave with a heavy heart. <laughs> then easy. Any time. Jesus play he coin. Michael said, Well, this is wrong. I I'll show you all this obese. They would put he in it. You ever tell them in easy? They would put Jesus in it. Next you see PNC people tearing out the, the, the pages in the Bible with Jesus name that one. Tell you why you believe Jesus has said nothing in this whole episode. Everybody quiet, all the church is quiet. Nobody wanna get Jesus involved in this thing. Anytime Jesus gets involved, he gets caught up. And the PNC is he people. <laughs> yeah? Them ain't got time. You come say your thing and ask you for SOPs. 
You play up when I ask the SOPs. See, they don't accuse you something. They accuse the Barbados Prime Minister. <laughs> they accuse. <laughs> they send Uncle Owen to a grave with a heavy heart. Still praying. They put somebody man, put the man dying bed. The man pray what I do wrong to Guyanese. Yes, sir. Them make a story with the whole of CARICOM for come out of CARICOM and they create CARICOM before they put the other countries out of CARICOM. Barnum created CARICOM. Barnum is the brainchild. CARICOM was Barnum's brainchild. And them master we coming out. This time they may realize if you create something, you got to put everybody else out. They decide they coming out. Because <laughs> everybody ran. The whole of CARICOM was wrong. You want to get implicated, get a problem with a PNC person. You want to get yourself in a problem that you can't explain how to get out. Yes, sir. It's madness. It's a unique experience. Yes, sir. Oh Lord, it's truth and dare. Bear confusion with them. Sean, watch that. The door. Lock doors when you move it. You just been upstairs, you left the door open. Yeah, right? So, why you believe Jesus quiet over this whole episode? Yeah, I can remember before elections. Yes, sir. Everywhere you go, you're seeing people praying and preaching. Lord, we love you. Yes, Lord, we love you. Yes, God, come into our lives. Yes, God, take a hold of our lives. Cleanse us of all of our iniquities, Lord. Come into my life. Everywhere you go, it's bare preaching and bare excitement. After March the third and the fourth, when they see Mingo do play Mingo play there. Jesus says, what's going on? Jesus there, putting the computers up. It's what's going on? This is my hard work, it's perfect. It's play playing there, putting the election thing. Huh? You know, everybody, like, I can't believe Jesus there. Talk daddy, daddy. Talking to daddy, right? It's play. Them are playing hard attack and there. <laughs> huh? And this animal is a part. Hear why they was. Jesus was shocked. When Mingo played, he get a heart attack. Because the man is a pastor. The man is closer to Jesus than anybody else. The man said, the man is a bam, Jesus run the computer right away. Heart, all right. Pressure, all right. This what is a game the man playing there? For election? Yes, and the rigging done start. So when now everybody hearing, Carly is playing the prayers in the dark, in the silent moment, Carly for Jesus, Jesus, not me. They will implicate you in something. Yes, eh? If Jesus was to come and tell the PNC people that will hear this is wrong to me, I'll do say, You is not God's son. Mary get blow. <laughs> Mary get blow. You lie. And you raised going away. You can't come back. Hey. <laughs> I tell you, no joke. Why you believe Jesus is quiet about this whole episode? You ever hear anything from anything? Before the election? Yes, sir. Is we love you, Lord. Everybody. Oh, we love you, Lord. And where you see him, um, where you see Granger, everywhere he there, saw the picture, take another picture of pain. Everything was about Jesus. When's the last time you see Granger pray? <laughs> if Jesus just stepped foot in Guyana, then he would see what entanglement would look like. I tell you, they would write a letter. They would do a dis dossier disputing the Bible. Them banning easy. Yeah, bye. Hello. Yeah, morning, talk to me. You got a clear head this morning? Yeah, yeah, I got a balance, a balance good. Roger, let me talk. Talk to me. Imran Khan, Imran Khan. There are a number of Imran Khans that I know. That big word, that big word by man, he used to, look, he used to use a lot of big words on TV. 
Oh no, he was the he was the head of DPI, Department of Public Information. Yeah. Like the Mahawi, this morning, right? What? I read a, I read a, um, uh, a article in Guyana time about the. What? Like you guys, the family up in here, somebody give you a hard lash. <laughs> Arr. What word do you use? Can't remember the word we used. You got it, fancy Bambi. words again? Bambi is in range of a Nazi left in um, some outstanding leaders for parliament like Lawrence and. and well, you can't, you can't vex with a man for being factual. No matter, here was one of the things. Even if you meet a thief man or a murder man, right? And he accepts, listen to me, I have erred, I am wrong, forgive me. You gotta look, you see, it's a human thing. And what happens when we get tied up in politics, we tend to want to castrate and destroy a man, right? But even the law does not allow for that. If Imran Khan is going to come and be honest with his opinion that Granger erred, I, I told you Granger is a daughter. And I can tell you, hear what I'm telling you. Granger is held not in high esteem, but is seen um, as they are on a higher level than some Farmer PPP leaders. One PPP leader told me that. It was in confidence. But the master man Granger is, 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 you know, more of a gentleman and all this. He understands himself. And he made a comparison to another farmer president. And I respect that. Yes, and because I always call the man a dotard. But that politician, he would have met Granger. He would have spoken to Granger on many occasions. If he see a quality in Granger that is even... Um, you know, are as worthy of, of notoriety. Who is me? I just the guy in each critic. I just the realest thing coming out again. Yes, I regularly. <laughs> right? So, if Imran Khan comes and he wants to be honest and give a genuine, I don't see how, how likely. You see, some people are so tainted. They're so damaged. You ask yourself, how they reach in this situation? I like me. Now, I'm a player in the true sense. I'm up for any game. You know what I tell you? You want to beat down a showdown? Any game. Fair is not in my vocabulary. That's the first thing. Whatever you want, do you come head and come. I'm waiting for you. Right? Since I was a little boy, me frighten no living soul. I know what it's about. I know what they mean, heart. Yes, yeah, sir. And I don't tell me everybody. I talk to drug dealers, murderers, rapists. I talk to everybody. If I am to be genuinely Guyanese and a patriot, yes, yeah, there are certain things I can't handle. Like just the mention of the name Marcus Bistram does just trigger me. So you all are seeing me, right? And the funny thing is, I am saying it publicly. I can't take it. You know what I'm It's not, you know, I can't be kosher about that. So I wouldn't be like, so I'm going to spit and talk nice to the guy and, and, and be deceitful. Partner, I can't take it. Because I know, I know from the inside. You know what I'm saying? I ain't looking for you for make no problem. I just can't. You want none for doing people like them, though. Right? I hold my car. And what I do, I say here, I got a bias. I talk about it publicly. Other people, they, they got a bias. Like the, the racist lady at um, the racist lady down at the Lato company, Tracy. Racist. Yes, sir. Eh? She come and she tell me, she tell another one, Dumbad! Hell, he's a dog! Can you imagine a woman at the executive level hollering, call the man a dog? Oh, man. Why would you try to insult a, a dumb animal like that? Eh? Lucky thing they got no dog named Critic. You know, just kick the dog again. <laughs> you know? Me, not me, I say you. Mm -mm. Right? I being straight. I can't handle something like my I would try. We could sit, we could talk, I would be accommodated, but I just tell people right away. Yo. 
partner, me like you, I can't take you. I because I don't know what what what, what an individual could do to change. Yes, yeah, sir. Them man is the epitome of evil. Like what they have they done? What have they done to right the wrongs? Has there been an apology for what happened? Right? So I would come and say, no, no, no. I, I, like somebody come to me that they don't like. I said, man, I, I ain't like you. I, I can't take you. You know what I'm saying? I can't take you. I can't take you, buddy. No, it's a play like a decent and thing. As I said, the guy in the I guess for everybody. But I can't take you. Go to, to, to somebody. Just give them your money and, and get your thing. You know? So I've been always that way. I straight with you. If I ain't like you, I tell you I, like, I ain't like you. You know what I'm saying? So... Laughing outside all the politics and the fun and the laugh and, and, and thing. This morning, if you have an idea for a business idea, call me, 622-7740, and let's talk. Because I want to hear what is in Guyanese mind. As I tell you how my morning start, a follower who has now become a friend of mine and supporter called me six minutes after six o'clock this morning. And the first thing is he says, Critic, I want to talk to you about something I'm going to do. Now, bear in mind, he's woke. He just wake me. And what are we talking about? Money. I want to know what you're thinking about when you wake up in the morning. You know, some people say money is not all. No, but we eating money and, and living money. And, but how do you get it? And what is enough? Do you have enough money? Are you satisfied with your life? A lady called yesterday, she in a situation, she glad to move out for me, she did think if she had enough money, do you think she would have been in a situation? What do you just do with your spirit? What do you just be thinking about? Just thinking about jerking off? Just thinking about people like Granger and Harmon? You, you think thinking about Granger and Harmon is going to take you somewhere? You're going to get somewhere? You're going to develop yourself personally thinking about these people? Even Jack Liu and Irfan Ali, thinking about them. They're in a role right now. You studying them. You think it can take you somewhere? What do you think about in the morning? Do you see the Cubans on the street kind of selling? You see that? There are 30,000 here. Guyana lose 30,000 jobs under the PNC administration. 30,000 jobs. It's 30,000. so much? That's 7,000 with sugar workers and other. But here now, where you think these jobs got? If they got 30,000 Venezuelans down here, how them get work and we need to work? If Venezuelans are in Guyana surviving, I don't, we got, we got 30,000 Venezuelans. Who are supposed to be refugees. And we got all the junkie I see is Guyanese junkie. Now I see a couple of Venezuelan junkie. So how is it that 30,000 people were there bad. Come in a country where a couple hundred thousand more they're bad. And these people ain't catching themselves. And we ain't catching themselves. With these Venezuelans there. You know what they're there? <laughs> they're doing you work for you playing the fool for do. Yeah, because how they living and how they eating. All of them ain't whores. Yes, yeah, sir. I know enough for them prostituted, but all of them ain't whores. Maybe he says only 15,000 of them got jobs. Right? Who job you believe they take? Now, here what I tell you. If we go live wealthy, look, I can't get one body for call me and tell me what a business idea they get. I got 1,300 people looking at me. You know what i And they ain't got one body could call. Whether it's outside for coming reinvest or what. Me partner wake me up this morning and what was on his mind. And by the way, a man that is in one of the richest families in the country, they got it like that. And what's on his mind? What's good? And he had about money yesterday. We had lunch at, at Hard Rock. 
The man living life nice. The night before, there was with some investors at, at sleeping. You know what I'm saying? The man living life. Purple is money is not all. Well, money is not all because you don't have it. <laughs> it's not all to you. Because you don't have it. And you feel out shit how forget it. You know what I'm It's like crossing the bridge that you're walking upon. Some may get blackout. You get a major blackout. When you see you jump from 1300 to, to 900, you know we had a major blackout. Some may got a major blackout. You know what i Let me see if we, we got any blackout. Um, we got any blackout. By the way, you could go to our page and see the the schedule for GPL when they're gonna be cutting off and maintaining certain areas and things. Hello, good morning. When, when you're ready, when you retire, well, when you're ready, um, let me give you some ideas right off the bat, off of my head. Uh, something like that, a, a, a daycare for adults, will need a central location because obviously you're catering to the guy who's in the office, who's got a mom at home. So, um, you expect them to bring his mom, drop her off, and then he goes to work. He's not going to go to yeah, Mahika. Like, like you see in New York, like they have, like, like you see like the, the minivan in Guyana, like in New York have that, they would, they would go to people's house and like pick them up. Pick them up and bring them. Take them to the center. Because I used to work there like back in the day. Mm -hmm. I don't do that no more. I'm a bus driver, I'm a city bus driver. But okay. I used to do that back in the days, and we used to, um, we used to bring them and they would... Let me give you... Let me give you a ballpark figures and an idea in your head, right? A facility as such. I have no idea, but that's just a No, 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 no. That's why I asked you to call. You know what I mean? I asked you to call or people to call because I can give you ideas from the back of here. Okay, okay. Here, me uh -huh. is, is knowledge. I is a knowledge base. That's why I do I think yeah. what gonna happen, how it gonna happen. I got all the foundation. Of what is in Guyana, when and how, right? So let me give you some ideas. Um, first thing you got central, you gotta get central location. We talking about um a facility that is gonna cost you somewhere up of five hundred thousand dollar, right? Bear in mind, you ain't gonna get all the money. A bank is once you got a viable plan, a bank is gonna be willing to support you. American banks are going to be coming down here. By the time you're ready for retire and come off, interest is going to be 2%. Yes, sir. But you're planning ahead. So we're talking about $500,000. For something like that, you need to have an ambulance and two of those vans that could pull down and bring in somebody in a wheelchair just for the start. One adult is about $10 million. There's the next $30 There's um. Thirty million is a hundred and, and something thousand. So we get six hundred thousand. Basically, for a million US dollars, you could have a business and we gotta see what our returns would be like. What will be the spending capacity of Guyanese by the time you're ready for retire? Bear in mind you plan it. And as it materializes, as Guyanese get more more isle money. As Guyanese start working more outside, you could start seeing before you kick off your plan, how yeah. was Guyanese spending power? So you planning yeah. and you're watching. You're planning and you're anticipating. Yeah. Well, here, this is where we're going. Now, there must be a plan B to something like this. Because that is a little technical. That would be a good idea, don't you think so? It's a great idea. But here we're telling you, here are, here are how ideas work. To make sure you're your dream is not crushed. What you do, you have a plan A and a plan B. Because your plan is a daycare. No. What happened? 
Yeah. Well, my tripping, well, what's the screwdriver would be doing in here? Yeah, the screwdriver Yeah. Now, so you got his daycare. But what about if Guyanese never get it right and they ain't want drop off nobody, they want nobody pick up because that has a cost. What about if we keep the people in? So you calculate, you remember you got you got a room facility, you got this here. If the daycare thing you work. Roger that. Yes, yes, yes. Right? So you gotta got plan B to it. And now, how can we do something? You know where? You know what? We're, we're gonna have money. When pension reach a hundred thousand dollars, you know how much people dep on the streets and just collect a pension and they're homeless and can collect a pension. What about if we take them in and the pension come to we? So you got the old people, instead of everybody getting a fancy room, we got decent, nice dorms. You understand? Yeah. And we pull in the 100,000. You know it's 100 people by 100,000? You get 10 nurses. Because you, you can't overwork a nurse. So one nurse, you got 10 nurses, you bring one, then bring in a man in the future. Like, Roger that you gotta get boys. It's, it's a dream, but you know what? It, it could come through. You know what? I mean? No, ma'am. Here, here, here. Ma'am, here, here. We discussing. Here. We discussing. And right away after the bat, I can tell you. That's why I asked people of a call to find out what your faults are. You got the wrong mindset. They say it could come true. You make it come true. You understand what I tell you? Because here I tell you. If you go in and do it, and I decide to take your plan. And do it, believe it or leave it, it will materialize. Anything the Guyanese critics say you could do, he does. You understand? I have history on my side to show. So you know, me when I hear this thing, well, it could come true. I want to see you implement it and make it happen. You understand what I tell you? That's what entrepreneurship, people don't know what entrepreneurship is about. Entrepreneurship is about putting your shoulder to the wheel and making things happen. You see, here I'm gonna tell you right away. You tell me, man, you know, you, you used to work in the healthcare, now you, you, you're driving the bus. And because of this lifelong follower you have been, right? Remember, you're working in a system. So the system has, it works this way, you don't always get, we live paycheck to paycheck. You yes, understand? This thing where you going upon? Is you deciding the miracles you're going to create. You understand? When you open the place, when it's two rooms or three rooms, and people come and see, you loving and caring for the parents, you up on the goal, girl. This is not here. First thing I want you to do is step back and realize. When you're in New York City, you're watching the Empire State Building, how it come about you think Jesus sent something to somebody? No, a man thought that this is what I want to do. And he made his dream materialize. And I want to tell you something also. When you go in and these things where you go, you're going to go and tell your sister, she's going to send us a bad idea. And the man who was building the Empire State Building had problems too. Look at the history of it. Dubai, while it's being built, although Dubai is sold as the greatest city in the world now, there are people who did not make it in Dubai. There are people who continue not to make it in Dubai. And there will, people, there will always be people who wouldn't make it in Dubai. So don't be sold. Don't be fooled. You got to decide. Am I going to be the person that is going to build the care home? Or am I going to be the customer for the care home? Think about it. And everything that you do. You must control your life. I can tell you from my personal experience. And that's why when I wake up this morning, I say I want to share this message with you guys. I want you guys to talk to me and I can tell you where you're going wrong. Because here, the plan is a great plan. The only problem I see, you hear, is you mindset in knowing that the possibilities in the world are infinite. Yes, yeah, sir. Because yeah. we'll be getting all this money. We'll be getting all this money. Well, here, laugh. How are we getting the money? I got 200,000. Me uncle got
got a hundred thousand. My auntie got three hundred thousand. Now you know why I selling them? I selling them peace. I taking your money and I tell you when you get all I taking. Look at this deal. We not only calculating for make a money out for the business. We calculate we have a place when we get old. Me mother me say, mommy, come. Yes. How much money you got? You go stay by me care home. Me talk to my auntie. Me talk to my niece and my nephew for convince them daddy and mama. You understand what I tell you? Sit down and think what you I want to do. I'll try. You know, this is a breakthrough for me in understanding what I need to do for you guys. Right? Here, why? There's certain terms when you use it, right? You hear what you said just now? It would be nice. Right? And let me tell you what it tells me. Psychology is my thing, and I'm well read. In certain areas, understanding people, what they say and what it means. That's why I knew the government of the past had failed, right? I'm looking at this government to see what's going on with them. Um, when you said it would be nice, using the term it would be nice still is hopeful. You understand? Yeah. So you got to get your mother on board. You got to get these people. It's not it would be nice is hope. Well, it's like if they want. No, it's not up to them. You understand what I tell you? So again, take these couple of years. When you get on the bus, think about what your care facility is going to look like. Build this thing that when you talk to your contractor, you could tell you one room or one ten room. You understand? Think about it in your mind. Conceptualize it. Me, when I got the idea, I driving on the road, we believe I think about gal. You understand? Who got... Yeah. Think about where you want to be. Now, the foundation of thought, of good positive thoughts, is knowing that anything is possible. Right? Uh, let me. Yeah. All right, my brother. I, we I, talk, I, we I, talk, I, we I, talk, I, we I, talk, I, yeah. I just wish to impart the wealth of knowledge and courage that I have with you guys. When I just said anything was possible, it, I was overwhelmed by emotions because Let me give you a short synopsis of my life. Dropping out of school at the age of 14. Knowing that I want to forge my own way. My mother was always a person who said, God is going to show us this the way, right? At the age of 18, I realized God looking for he way to like he... Like, it's all a wee confused. He looking for we, and we looking for he, and nobody find him. And it's like, yeah, click. She wait for he. Well, too, we, we multitasking, right? So let's she wait for he, and me go move her, and I'm going to look for me own way. Right? So I left home at the age of 14, went to number two canal by my friend Holy, where I work all the other day, and um, I worked on a farm for two years. I used to work with a man named Ricky from uh, Goldsmith Ricky from Star Street all by stone. He used to mine cow and everything. Man. Uncle Ricky. And when I was on this farm, I plant and I mine in the cow and I do it. And I thought about this thing. He's got this, but I don't want this. I want a bigger farm. I want an amazing farm. One of these days I'm going to take you at the back there and show you what's it become. Somebody took it and, and made something that I dreamed of. So I'm there, and I'm in my element, and I know I want to be the biggest farmer. 
that didn't thing. I come out today for work at town, meet up with my mother sharks, when we come back, we come at Annandale. Used to work at a vulcanizing shop. In my day, I was the best. Vulcanizing everything. Nobody was better than me. I could change a wheel in 60 seconds flat. Take half a wheel, change a tire, put it back in 60 seconds and flat. These, all these things. I always strive to be the best at what I do. Married then by his mother. Go work at the estate. Then start my first business. Did well. The first set of money, confusing drinks, woman, everything. Screwed up. Then... I open my second business. Just past the Plaza Pleasance police station over so the vulcanization shop that rendered from the Scots Pleasance. Um, screw up again. Right? Then I start my third business, Regent Street, opposite Gala Gala Station, vulcanizing shop. Then I look at the I start Digicel and GTT top up. Credit. Right? And you know what? If you look at the things that I've done, they're total out of character. <laughs> when I drop out from school. So me being in university and I didn't have a stream. I wasn't in the science stream or the business stream or anything. I just know that anything that you see that is humanly possible is possible for me. Simple as that. Simple as that. And I do these things... I had the fifth largest manufacturing facility. I was the largest distributor for bottled water. The second largest wholesaler for GT and T and Digital. So I've been through all these things. And when people talk like they hope, you know they're hopeful. They're not sure. I am dead sure. I am dead sure about what I'm going to do. Yes, and I'm going to get it. Yes, and there are times that I'm going to fail. At what I'm doing. But there will never be a time that I will fail to try. Never. You understand? Yeah, I will fail. But I will never fail to try. I'll do it. I'll try and I'll try again. And this is where you gotta develop. This is where you guys gotta understand. Don't get wild. Like a girl called me the ID. Critical, why you help me with this thing? And I said, I know it's a failure. Because the personality doesn't match the vision. You understand? The personality doesn't match the vision. People have some great ideas. And so, how are you going to begin? What's the foundation of these things? You understand? What is the foundation of it? How, do you, how is it going to work? The next thing is, you could never be the downfall for anybody. You know why people get the self cut? Somebody come with a plan, oh, they aspire and dream to do this. I don't care what you aspire and dream to do. I'm not giving you my money. It's bullshit you're talking. You yes, understand? Eh? But if that person is an entrepreneur, if that person is going to get up, you and God can't stop them from getting up. Hi, good morning. Talk to me. Yeah, a couple minutes ago, right? The police. The accident by um, before losing land. She dead? No, no, she ain't dead. She was right on the street. 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 Is a girl or a big woman? No, 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 no. A girl, a girl, but it's for 40, 15, 14 years, I don't know. Jesus Christ. I hope somebody cares. Somebody cares just for the Astra? She only, well, she didn't give a picture of what she inside. All right, brother. All right, safe. Thanks for the update. When you come, when you come, where is it? Um, I know yet. And when I go in places, I don't really tell people. I just move in. When I dead, I'm going to announce that I dead. Good. That's the class. You promise me, no? Yeah, safe. Yeah. So when it like like I would like it's what she said I like or I wish something. 
You know positive thoughts. It's only you could make something happen in your life. Don't ever get confused. I like me, me depending on nobody. You know why I want? You know why I want it? You know why I work as real hard for get rid of the last administration? They lack vision. Me and why the people behind me nothing. What I want is an administration that's going to create an atmosphere. Yeah, come in. Come in. Morning. Yeah, brother. What could you feel? I just woke up to you, right? Oh shit. Send all the facts to me from WhatsApp. The picture and so on. Just just WhatsApp me. I'm not going to WhatsApp. You got messenger. No, me, me can't take down nothing. You got WhatsApp? So how are you get the photograph of the thing to me? Well, because we got even a message from the family home. We can bring it back. Oh. Is there your Facebook page or something? Yeah. You don't put it up on the page? No, we don't put it up on the page. I mean, just come from the station. We don't do the police. Where, what, tell me, tell me, where the, where the rabbit is carrying? Last night, four, nine, nine, four, nine. He just walked out here in the market, yeah? Uh -huh. The kid, uh -huh. and they didn't carry him. Him. They pay for the road, and they call up the taxi, the taxi go there for them. When he go there, call again, and they carry to Atlantic, I didn't show you this guy. No, Atlantic Bay. Atlantic Bay. They, were, they had a gun with them yeah, or something? Yeah, they had a gun. Yeah. Went in the back, they had a gun, caught my mouth, then they started to carry, caught my mouth, put the gun from your neck back. Mm -hmm. um, Indian guys, black guys, yeah, how much of them? Two of them. At least you got your life, buddy. Um, yeah. What's the car number? Because I didn't live right now. So we could... It's C6701. It's C7601. It's C7601. So, yeah, look out for what's the color of the spacio? White spacio. White spacio. We're looking for a white spacio. Yeah, I know it's a spacio. It's like a little hatchback car. Right? It's C7601. Well, obviously, they can change the number, but we're looking for a white spacio. Anyway, you see, um, well, they got to send, we, we got to many glasses because they can't take out the glass. What got on the windscreen? Got any mark, got specific got markings? Beats, So, yeah, look out for car with Beats Sugi narration share. Narration share, right? White spacio. Yeah, look out for it. Send the fact the, the, the thing to me. Untouchable. Untouchable. So the car mark untouchable at the side. This guy get rabbi car um last night. Like, what time it happened? For nine nine thirty. Um it happened at Atlantic Garden. Atlantic, Atlantic Garden. Field. Just before the line. So they asked you for cut through there? They said Atlantic Field. Bill, so. Oh, from the back, where you left UG Road, the next car is going to go back, sir? Yeah. There's a little lonely spot. Yeah, the lonely spot, but we come on the public road and talk in. So, mm. go just to prove the line and come out, right? Then we say, stop the car. Mm. How many people are going to tell you stop the car? Shit, all right. How many people are going to put me stoop down the road, pull a gun in my head, jump in the car, drive me? All right, I can see what we can do for you. A lady will ask a red spot. Somebody wants to pass your part. Because a lady in Romvet last a red spacio, by the time I put it up there, the lady find back she car somewhere Sophia. I can't remember if she find back she car. But they find back the car up in the road. But they got Sophia. We got a, we got a car jacking crew up and running again. We recently broke up a car jacking crew at, at, at um, Sue's Night. But we, obviously, with these amount of car jacking, we got the next crew up and running again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got work planet. I can talk to the commissioner of police about it too. Right? I yeah, send the facts to me, I'm gonna and I'm going to set it up. I'm going to have to go right now, because I'm going to go ahead and 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 go ahead they don't understand. When somebody could, you have a problem already, right? Yeah. So you there put your nerves and things. So they got for no for put on some kid gloves and get this thing started. But see with them, don't stress. Because it's important you gotta be focused to get things done, right? Yeah, I get a picture and think to me yeah. put it up. If I'm not here, give my boy. Roger, brother. Cool. No problem. Yeah, I'll take you. Just pull the door behind you.
Every day is something. Every day is something. Every god day is something. Oh, my. Try to move forward. You want to be positive. Me problem is. You may try to teach her positivity. Then you got negativity. Come you got the pain. You teach her. I don't know how it's not an alcoholic. This is what. This is who thing. GT and T bring a battle. Oh, this somebody battle. This is not me battle. Somebody left the battle here. That must be crazy. Who left the battle there? Come here. Come here, daddy. Baby. Sean? Yeah. Who got his GT and T water battle? Man, I can't think next thing. I left a bum and blow me up and say, Oh, uh, look, look, look at this child. Look at this girl. Look at, look at her. Look at her. She's, 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 she's just behaving bad and she brought a try to get rid of shit. She brought a car and he opened the door easy and put shit in the bottom. And she likes to fight and so she's loving daddy. She loves daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Yes, daddy for you just like you, yeah. Daddy for you just like you, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's a real lover, baby, you know. She's a real lover, baby. Oh my god, you can't bite that, he said. Mm. No, 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 you can't bite that shit. No, you can't bite that shit. Come, 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 come. Why are you getting so bad? Why, why so bad? Why so bad? Mm hmm? You look really bad. Mm. You combing that here? She combing that here? She combing that here? She grooming that here? All right, everybody's done quarrel out that here. You combing or you eating? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, okay. Okay, daddy loves you, daddy loves you. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You this morning. Mm-hmm. You trying to make a bed, you? Mm-hmm. What? 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 You know I do program no more, you know, I just want to go love she up, I just want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, good morning. Hi, yes, good morning, uh, Mr. Rodriguez. Yes, sir. How are you, man? Um, it's Chef Colin, ERC. We spoke, I think, about two days ago. Yeah, brother. I didn't uh. get a chance to go through the uh, correspondence of set. Because we miss him. Here, yeah, what happened? Here was my main problem. Who's gonna be these people who talking? Who's the speakers and so? Who yeah, who would be the presenters? Uh Because I, I would want to think, here, here was my perception, I would want to think we need people from outside of the problem. Because I was, I was reliably informed that requests were made of David Hines and a few other. These people are public racists. They ain't going for me program. I ain't, I ain't hearing nothing with them for me page. So, you know, we got to be factual. No, I know that. I know that. But you can't take a public racist and put him on a program and suggest that we get balance and we work out something. I would think, I would want to think if you take people, maybe doctors, lawyers, and people from the outside, right? Who have been watching at this racist ranting and all these things and, and would like to see something different. You could take them from both sides.
Right, let me get answer before the day is out. Don't worry. Let me get answer before the day is out. Is what date? Is what date we got? Monday and Tuesday. Raj. Mm -hmm. Now, once you have your people tuned in, you have everybody from this, the different sides, right? But my perception of how I think, how I how I see. You see, um, you are you are the ERC. Yes, these are there are people who are heading it up, and, and you guys would have put a lot of thought into it. But obviously, let me get Jackie Jackie. Nobody knows communication better than me in this country. Story done. You understand? Where is NCN, all the lawyers and doctors and everybody else? They know communication like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here what I'm saying. Here was the problem. Here was the problem. People look to me for fairness and balance, right? So it could be misconstrued, even if I just facilitate something and people talk, you know, me, they can talk nice. I would want to think when on an ERC um, platform, they would speak nicely. But we got a case where as we're watching, I said, these people, you know, I, I, I think the, the, the conversation should not be given to politicians who are in, whether PPP or or, or opposition who are in this thing that we're talking about because there is the problem they can't solve the problem they have to hear what other people think about them you see if they see what the young people watching and say man you know what I mean like this I didn't appreciate how this man said this they were gonna change all right mm. Mm. Because if David Hines can depend on something, a program you got, I suppose to depend on it. Yeah, son. Yeah, you got to put me too. Because then got nobody got more vice than me. Oh, well, nobody is. <laughs> but let me, let me, give me this afternoon. I'll give you a call by them this afternoon. See. Roger. Remind me. Give me a reminder about 5 o'clock. I don't consider today. See. So just for you guys to know, the ERC is holding a conversation and obviously the thing is about race and all them thing now and they've reached out to me to air it on my platform the problem is i hear people like harmon and david hines eh you make a joke no no put here what happened you can't be a part of the problem and you the any soup solution yes sir what got for happen you got to have people for Harmon camp and people for the PPP camp saying, man, listen to me, this is how I see it and this is how I feel. So those people who would have made the mistake would watch us say, we didn't know people would think, people thought of us like this. You know what I'm saying? This is how it got to be done. Because now you imagine the ERC holding a conversation. The ERC didn't hold a conversation. The, the Prime Minister said, the ERC got... Hey, baby, come. Come, come, daddy, come. You're supposed to stay with daddy, you know. Come, come, good daddy, come. Come, good daddy. Come, good daddy. Stay here with me, man. Stay here with me. Why you so bad? Why you so bad? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Why you go for beat daddy every time? You may do so, you may do so, huh? We really love you. Ah! She biting bad, man. What we could do for stop this biting? This girl biting bad? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? But she just biting all the time. You happy? What are you quit? What do you do? You? I'm gonna train you bad night time, I said, man. Hmm? Every day you wake up, she get more bad. Mm, too much loving she get. Ah, 
Jesus Christ. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Maybe can't just love up my why we can't be fighting? You just can't love up and so. Sorry to tell you you're bad. You're bad. It's a good baby. Can't touch your negative things. We should start having negative thoughts. We want no negativity around us. Right? So. What's worse by somebody? said, can the dentist and pull out your teeth? Pull out your teeth, Josh. Here. Josh Passad. Oh, Jesus Christ. You are sick. That's like a serial killer thought. So, I tell y'all, we're going out with the ERC. That's a, that's a, a Siberian uh, husky. It's a husky. So, they want us, the ERC is starting a conversation. Let me get it up and, 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 and tell y'all what exactly it is about. So, it could help them in tune, even if I don't um, hear it and I think. Because me and that certain stupidness. If they could talk, if you could get harm on them on the platform, you gotta get me. Because I live through all of them. I see spirit. I see the racism from all the sides. You know what I'm So what is the conversation? We spoke a little bit about your head of ERC education awareness. Um, so the, this is a flyer they have. Let me read it from their flyer. So what is it about the ERC? The Ethnic Relation Commission ERC is collaborating with the University of Guyana and the United Nations in hosting a virtual national conversation on improving ethnic relations in Guyana. Now I hear this conversation asking people like David Heinz for that. Openly racist people. <laughs> Am I was to do with democracy? Yes, sir. Do you have openly racist people? What conversation? Is 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 the ERC trying to break this thing or are they trying to make it more racist? Because now the, the Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Nagar attacking the ERC. She gonna sleep. Oh, baby, daddy love you. Good morning, Mr. Critic. Uh, Scarlet is like a little cuddly baby toy. A toy. Mr. Critic Scarlet has a really <laughs> Uh -uh. Wow. So, let me watch. Can you tell your friend to lead by example? People who have COVID can be referred after three months and be asymptomatic. So, Nagamutu come out and talk about the ERC, God forget, restructure or something. After he sat and see the ERC perform, never talk about the ERC. And the ERC did not talk about open racism under the last administration. Right? What do you say to people like me and the woman that called with her ID but is scared to take the first step in accomplishing their ideas? Get over it. Simple. Because this is your only problem. Yes, sir. This is your only problem. You got people investing in this You got to do something. You got to believe in yourself at some point in time. Me, I grew up in a positive environment. I don't know, no. No is for who? Not for me. Yes, sir. If you can't get it for me, somebody else can get it for me. I can do it some way. Good advice, my brother. Right. 
Yes. Good morning, Patex. How are you? I'm calling JT and T for the past twenty five minutes, not getting any answer. Just you might get a car for twenty five more days before you get into them. No politician should allow on the program. That is how they say. Yeah. No politicians. Don't get no politicians. Let me start a civil conversation. You know what I'm saying? You talk to the businessman, you talk to the mother, you talk to the woman. A conversation with racists? Me know about racism? <laughs> huh? Harmon and people lie about people. Good morning, critics. One thing that I always dream of is to open an adult daycare center. Oh, we talk about this already. The pensioner who has medical conditions not getting water for the past. So you have to pull something off the Facebook page. You use, you run a Facebook for. You gotta get. Morning, critic. Going out the story with the girl, the girl with a murder, the lady over touching. Me here is talking nothing about a Muslim lady. Me no know nothing about her. It might have come across my desk, but like. What if destroying the PNCs developing the country, the Harman leap and bound ahead of you? Might be. But I think they got. I think the PNC has. I think the PNC got real people behind it who got purpose and who got vision. Well, not behind it. I, I, I think a lot of the supporters could come up to the top. If you get rid of this mucus, it's not cream. It's mucus. It's a cold. It's a parasitic thing. Good morning. I want to open a car wash and taxi service in Borbies. Can you give me some advice? What would make my business unique from the rest? Um, service. Service. We're not thinking of business in Guyana that is similar to other businesses, one of the things Guyanese lack the most is service. When you come in here at Michael Place, right away you can't wash it. There is no wait. There is no wait. <laughs> it's set up that when you're driving, it's wash, blah. No question asked. And as the capacity build, as more is needed, you've got more staff, you've got, you understand, expansion. He could wash. This is only pit stop services. Michael's my big son business, right? Is the only service center. Remember, it's a service center. It's not a wash alone. We do AC repairs. We do body work. We do mechanical repairs, servicing. Yes, and just so we can get the equipment for do the tires and so on. And we do the washing. But it's the only wash bay. It has a wash bay inside. It's the only wash bay. That simultaneously could wash about eight vehicle one time, ten vehicle. You could wash two truck, five car, two thing from bottom wash, and a couple others. Five and two seven and two nine, eh, but ten thing, one time. <laughs> yes, I'm going eh? This place. Now, if every car wash you go, the most you could find is two pressure washers. This place got eight pressure washer. Everything got a pressure washer. Got pressure washer for bottom wash. Pressure. Every bay got a pressure washer. No, it's not a nice thing. If you go, people doing a pressure. Engine making nice. Everything is electronic. The pressure washers them. Yes, sir. A top to 100 psi. When somebody blew all day, you got watch it. But when you come in, the first thing is, how do the staff, all we concentrate upon, is the service. We set an up sitting area. You understand? That my wife could come and have a seat and nobody in the open face. You understand? You got to set up all accommodation. Soon we plan to set up a lounge. Where you go in a nice AC lounge with a TV upon the wall and you're watching thing and you and plus, this place got Wi Fi. This is the next thing. When you come, this is the first. You go in any car, you can go and get Wi Fi. Free Wi Fi. Once you're the here, it's free Wi Fi. 
You understand? So you got to provide service. If you're doing it, one body actually, you want to care You got to provide service. How do you do it? People are scared. Where you go for the business? Yeah, I don't be back. Me, I just. No, no, no. This is how sir. Good morning, ma'am. How can I help you? We want the inside Washington. And then your job is to advise the individual. Not try to rob them. Say here, this car, we're going to do a vacuum. We're going to put a little dust and so on. But you see all those stains and the matting. So you got to do a detailing. You got to leave the car for a day. It costs 25 dollars. We got to complete detail. We will take out all the seats and clean it. Yes, and you smell the seats. man. It look like, you know, kids is there. They got little drop-ins and so on. We got to do a general clean. Where you take out the the the, 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 um, the seats and steam clean it. You take out the bottom mat and wash it. You understand? And then them understand. What go on? You tell them what's the time, period. Right? And when you come down the line that story, me don't get no talk it, talk it, customer. Hello, hi, good morning. What is the job you need done? Stick to that. You might talk into somebody, not because a woman smile with you, she want a man. Deal with people on a professional basis. Women got frightened for God. You understand? Because everybody want to run up in the face and talk. No, 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 no. How can I help you, ma'am? Don't make yourself personal. A man must feel comfortable that, yeah, I can send me wife down there. And then study nobody here face your face. You understand? She could wear, a woman could wear her shirt. Man, the woman could come naked out. We can wash she and all too. You understand? Keep it professional. And that's what guy need is service, service, service. Everybody washing care. Nobody could do what pit stop services does. And that's a matter of fact because they don't have the facility. Rain, storm, wherever. Where you ever go, the whole place ain't covered up. This whole place covered up. You understand? Yeah, I'll ever see the size of pit stop services. The whole place is covered down from front to back. You got entrance to come in, you got entrance to go out if you want. Service. We think wholly and solely about the comfort of the customer because everybody washing care. We can do the same thing where everybody do it. It's nothing special. But our service provision is second to none. Yes, sir. Important satisfaction. When we done, they got man washing. They got, hopefully, I prefer to use women to dry down the car. And then they got somebody who's going to inspect the car. A supervisor who go in and check the glass and make sure everything sharp. Check this, check, 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 check. On a checklist, satisfy. When we done, we take your number and your name. If there's anything that we got for offer with special offer, we call you and tell you. Sir, you do so much a wash. You're entitled to a free wash. Come down anytime. You understand? Know if you're doing service, we I'll change. We know where is the last I'll change. We call you in six months and say you're due for a service. You're overdue. Professionalism. So you gotta open while you open the car wash, while you have setting up the car wash, so you gotta go and do a course in good management practices. Yes, yeah, sir. In good customer service relation. The goddamn thing, they got even got them online. How do you speak to someone? That is important. Do you got um, do you gotta work up on when you go to Marriott? You see everybody there. Is what this girl sharing here? We got black, you, 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 you prostituting your body from a page. Is what ass is this? She shares some Instagram page. Really, pick your favorite. You gotta let me know first. Anything going on in a business, you want you can bring the samples to me, or you could come just up on my page and, and spam me people. And you pick your favorite here, yeah? you gotta come. This is not no ordinary business we, we run it. Guy needs to the real estate coming out again. So we gotta see your body, we gotta inspect you inside and out to make sure you're a suitable product for the country. Will you share your Instagram um thing page for meeting for? We are selling for nanny. You gotta come. You gotta pass through the journey. Hello. The journey test. Hi, good morning. Um I know the story of the story with the baby. Um the six-day-old baby that became to get COVID and die at West Bank? Uh-huh. No, I never hear about that. Okay, well, I'm the baby mother. Tell I'm me. I'm here at West Bank right now. I don't know 
about it because come along here we having a little problem what problem are you having the tell baby, me now getting the baby chart and so on baby supposed to get post smart since yesterday they don't have doctor to witness it now today they don't have a chart for the baby i do not know of any postmortem on COVID-19 cases. Yeah, but the baby don't have COVID-19. Because they're handing them over to us. And they, they said he's going to get postmortem, right? Now the baby has got the hospital away from the postmortem. But because of the child, they can't do it. So what was the baby's complication? Six days old, you just gave birth to the baby. Yeah. So the baby even yeah. come out of the hospital. But did you see anything abnormal with the baby? Is a seven month baby? What's the problem with the baby? In your opinion? Um the baby is by my CSS. Okay, C section. Eight uh -huh. plus couple days. Anyway, when I um, came out of the theater, it brought the baby at the bedside and it told me to take the baby upstairs because the baby was promising. Then after, they say he swallowed nasty water. Then after, they said he, he got jaundice. They had him under the light. Next thing you hear, the baby is not doing well. He, he's 50-50 child. And he died the 23rd of November. You needed a top seed here to see if there was some form of malpractice. But the was baby, the baby crying when they brought the baby to you? Well, I didn't know. I hear the baby cry, but the baby eyes and so on was open and everything. Look lively and everything. Is a boy or a girl? Yeah, a boy. I'm sorry for your last mom. Is your first child? No, second. Okay, sorry for your loss. Um, yeah. So and you didn't get... We have us pushing around, pushing around. We can't get a child. And now we're waiting on the RHO. No, everybody, everybody hiding it. We can't see nobody. Well, I'm on my life right now, so it's public knowledge. I know what they're hiding for. Y'all don't like come at Jarshan. Uh, is where Jarshan has to? No, where's them? Where's them? Y'all don't like come there and start videoing and talking low talk. Y'all get this lady. She done there in the sass. She baby dead. She done going through a traumatic situation. Y'all get this little look. I don't know what's wrong with these people in this country. Somebody there in a situation, a child dead. This is not nothing easy for mother to deal with. And they got to run around and they're all about the place. I'm sorry, but I don't worry. I'll follow up with it right away. You got a number for anybody? Yeah, we got a number for the RHO office. What's the RHO office number? 254. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the, the rest out of my head. What's the, what's the, babe, what's the baby registered name as? The baby is under my name. Look at me, Lilia. Was it spelled for me? N U T. Uh. A N D A I. Newton L Day, Newton Day. L I A H. I'll follow up with it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Fucking. A lady child dead. Why should I for a run wrong? Get the fortune document and get the lady. Like in this country, travel all done. Like the more problem up there is the more problem they give you. Look after the lady. Daddy wake you up. Sorry, love. Send a number for the RHO for Region 3 for me now. What's up for me, Sifa? Yeah, brother, it's all about service with the, with the business. Any business. Any business. Everybody got. You understand? If you look at the clubs, where you're going to rum shop, you got an old, mopey, haggard out. 
sweaty, dirty, stinking looking old man. And, and, and the wife stressing below. When you go to the club, ooh, you see people just grooving up their bodies, so you understand? Next thing you had a bit of coochie in your face. You could see their rubbish, yeah? Service is all about the service. You figure out how to be innovative and provide good service to Guyanese, they're gonna love you for life. What is this, man? You know what I want? You know what I want? I get a complaint. I don't know if anybody could get some dialysis machine for me. If you could get dialysis machine for me, I want to take dialysis to the to, to, across this country. A lot of people, they are dialysis. They got left S Equibo. Come across it, both of them come a tongue for do dialysis. People got to do dialysis two times a week. How are they doing that? You understand? So. Good morning, critic. How about the Cubans that want to come to Guyana over 400? Well, the, the bar that closed off, the bar is not going to be open at the 12th anymore. So I know where they go, what they're going to do. And my mother received her 25,000 this yesterday morning in Cane Grove. And you should visit there one day, please. Do this number, everybody. Send the number. Yeah, so this thing with the ear, I feel this conversation is more like a noise. It's not a conversation. If they got people who is a part of the problem talking. I'm going to call the R R H O Regional Health Officer. R-H-O, Regional Health Officer. Uh -huh. Where do I call them? I call the Regional Health Officer and find out. But that's the problem. I'm a careless. You go to the insurance company. No, you got to go to Sir, when it comes to claims and paying out and so on, we're just a sub office. Nicely. Because if I say care, when I say care, you don't stress me. Yes, yeah, sir. Like when you go to the station, they got more attitude than you, they more stressed out than you. And they say you got the forging problem. And they get them pay for look after the problem. You taking people money for pay for look after the problem, you don't look after no problem. Yes, yeah, sir. No, you come, I come. Oh, my baby dead. Oh, fudge. Help the lady, let she bury she baby. You don't know what traumatic event she gonna go through after mothers when the last a child. There's a different story. There's a different story I've been through that. That might have been one of the, 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 the cracking points for, for me, separation in the marriage. Yes, yeah, sir. I've been through that. You ain't know it is done in. No, I got I nine months she fetch a child. The child dead might be as a result of y'all doing. Yes, sir. Look after the lady. And let she go along, she way in peace. Because she got lifelong problem. That she never got fucked. She sees a child. She sees a child. All she thinking is she might, oh God, this child look good. Might have had some deformity or something. But she sees a child. She see a, a, a bouncing baby by. You don't screw up till the girl picnic, take bad water, me no whoa, whoa, whoa. Look after the people. Even when you go to the police station, man, go the problem, they acting like they got more problem than you. Like they got more attitude than you. Realize that people are already, look the man come there. You just sit him down. So then I got hell up on the manner, but when you're done, people must be satisfied with the service that you're providing. Or you're not doing anything, brother. A, a, a human being should be proud that they collect money and they do. You know what I'm Do what you're asked to do. You ain't got to you be the most professional person, but understand. I like like the health thing, right? You you ain't care. You in you in care. You to take care of people. You me got to tell you.
Hi, Miss Ford. Morning. Guyanese Critic here. I need your help. I got a, I got a somebody just come and complain on Nutadeo. She's a six-year-old baby recently died and she waited for a chart to go and get a biopsy and stuff. And she gets in a push room. I know how you can help you. So um she's there, she's there now? Well just talk to shit. Just you have a number for her? I'll send the number, right? Girl, she attacked the shit, you know, and what time and, and, and let us see what best they can do. This is very traumatic when a mother's lost a child, you know? So alright man, thanks. What you mean no one could do? Like the RD. Them bano playing the Marcus Bistram thief in man, the thief man say Marcus Bistram and thing. They they park in front of the place in the car. I live there in the car. No, no walk in there. So the, the thing. And plenty of thing hard hard for the car at you. I said, buddy, you imagine I driving in me. Coming for look after the me car. Me two million, three million dollar car and see his four man who acting the fool doing me thing. I said, yo, do you tell me can go on? And here was the next thing. You don't have to be. When you hire somebody, they come professional, you gotta train them. Everything you see they like they getting hostile to customers. No, 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 no. You yes, eh? No, 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 no. Customers always right. You say, but a man, no, they ain't got no butt. There's a fixed concrete statement. The customers always right. You yes, eh? Always. No ifs and buts. You are just you life to deal with it. You can't handle work, make your itation. You yes, eh? Yeah, make your itation. You don't adjust the staff. You don't adjust the customer. You don't adjust. Because the money, I like me. The customer's always right. Once me, money is right. <laughs> yes, eh? The cost me, I don't think. You want to tell me me, mother? So you want to wash too? <laughs> I'll give you cover tap. I just about to give you more S. You give the position this. I say you want about to watch too. <laughs> me got time. Cause when me more the guy needs always up in the feelings. No, no, me more. You want to tell me about my ex? Hey, what you want to talk about? When I lash in your face is when you come and waste my time and talk to and you come and do no business. I want money. That's all I want. Take with you money? No, no, no. Me? Yes, sir. No, sir. You have to know how it's gets so nice. You see, I like guy. Each critic work always get hard style and stuff. When it comes to me providing a service, me, yes, sir, no, sir. Whatever you say, sir. <laughs> you understand? Know yeah. Service. Service is it, right? So I already. Oh, shucks. I stole this girl number because this lady just called. <sighs> So I'll have the health officer talk to her, the regional health officer. Something wrong here. I didn't put down R H U. You're helping as much as you can, and that's all that matters. Um. Nick, good day. How are you doing? I'd really appreciate it if you could post the link to your page and give my boy 
some ratings, five star, four stars, we think. Um, going up for a competition. This is the guy who designed your, the guy in the squinty thing for, your, um, for the Facebook when you go live. Let me read by this house in a There's a. Um... The design is indeed nice. This is me by the, the graphic artist. Yeah, yeah, all right. I can, I can, I can begin. I'm going to look at it. I can I give you a, a rating more than you worth? Um, what am I doing? I'm doing something for this. What did I put? How did I put it? Yeah, give me a minute. This mother I could only imagine. I put R E O. I got for, I got for edit this thing. It's R H O. So let me send He forges this man This I thought this If I put this thing I put M A M and they put in man, man. Every fudging time you. <sighs> Newton Dill. closure for this mother man oh god it's only six days now she just she's sore she's had a c-section she's sore buddy thank you so much for helping out the mother in her time of need you're in the world for a purpose may god always bless your family and you keep the train michael is a cool guy <laughs> uh. Yeah, I want some dialysis machines. I think I I, I want to set up dialysis centers across Guyana. And um, I know government will give me land because it's like a little mini dialysis and sugar testing center and so on to help people and get them dialysis affordable if y'all know anybody because i know that's by used dialysis machines yeah the dialysis machines was coming only as used ones so if we could get dialysis machines i'm gonna set up in barbies um skeleton side new amsterdam yeah, even if it's two dialysis machine to an area, I set up a nice little place. Yeah, sir? And do dialysis across the country. Hey, bro. Yeah, yeah, you might just send it to me. <laughs> it's, what's, what's it about? It's, what's it about? Is your graphic artist? <laughs> Hold on, mama. You win, you win, you win. Once I share it, it's done. <laughs> no, but once I share it, it's done. If it's likes and, and you, you win, you win. Because who, who, will, who will get a, a bigger coverage? Don't worry, I'm going to look at it. Once it's what and, and 
And if you do meeting, I, I, I could only imagine it's good stuff you do. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Don't worry, I got you. Safe, but cool. So we got to do something for Michael Jackson. Jack, Michael Jackson is the guy's name. He's a graphic artist. And he, um, he, he just, um, he, um, did it, the company. Let me open it up and see what it is about. And we could talk about it. We could discuss that right now. So let me open up the thing itself and let me see what's the graphics. What is it he did? Damn, it's genius. Damn, what says more about education than an open book? Wow. Banners always, I know this banner got talent, but look at this. So, this is what. Um, this is what Michael Jackson did. And he's a graphic artist. But what you... Here, I want... I want y'all understand. Now, the coat of arms means Guyana. Right? So, there's Halloween. So, you got Ministry of Education at the bottom. Then he has, like it was a computer, yellow, black, green, red, all the six colors for the flag, all the colors for the flag, there. Right? You got what everything is included in there. So you can't get more local, original than this. So I'm going, let me go and share it right there. Let me go. Let me send it to. Wow. Wow. So the map put the concept how it looks when it's at a book. Right? And I'm gonna share it so you guys gonna share and like. And give you a genuine opinion, right? It, it might I might be a little biased because he did things to me. Um, I look at the others, right? So you guys give your honest opinion. Look at this. This is genius. But the guy is a great graphic artist. Right? Look at this. Look at that. So imagine you've seen them. Because it sends a clear message. This is what it's about. It's education, the book, knowledge. You understand? Inclusiveness. Everything. You understand? So I'm going to share it. You guys give me your opinion. Ministry of Education, Guyana. Uh, so let me share this just like this. Yeah, just send something to you there. Um, look at it and, and put in bold a header um, in in higher caps. Um, a, a header which suggests it's a competition and it got to be liked and shared to get um, maximum response. And for people to share their own opinions, read it and see as well. It's a, it's a, it's a logo one of them guys did for the Ministry of Education. I think that's very interesting. But there's a competition. And now it is about sheer likes to get him where he has to go. But when I look at the right there, it's very inclusive. You, you, can get it, you can get the ID. So just put that in the head or something interesting. Check it out right here. Cool. So. That can run the car wash and etc. You see an entire building. Uh, how much is it going to cost me? Uh, Axe. Ask or give us a call for more info. Price starting from twenty three hundred. It's five hundred grand. I prefer some of the caterpillar engine inside. Send the prices for the specific products to me, uh, and um, and the, like the black one I see in the header, you got different thing. But the black one I want to know is how much kVA. The white one, how much kVA? What engine it carries inside? You know, it gotta be specific to the items we are showing me. They look good, but generators, you know, you gotta power them up and you got you got no brand. So 
So let me let me let me get cracking. I got things to do. Um, you change your picture again. I mean to notice you. So let me go guys, you take your peace out.